Welcome to your post-match reaction to Manchester United's loss to Atletico Madrid in the second leg in the Champions League where they lost 1-0. Truth be told, it's not what we expected. It's not what we wanted. Major doom and gloom around the club yet again. But there's always a bad performance around the corner. There's always an inconsistency ready to come and knock us back down to earth. It's very, very difficult to look at this game and try and find some positives. There are so many negatives. But I have to be honest and say that I'm absolutely gutted. I am truly in shock of the officiating last night. The dirty tactics, anti-football tactics by Atletico and Simeone and even more so gutted at the fact that our big players, if not all of our players, decided not to turn up yet again. But that comes from the board, it comes from the decisions that they have made, it comes from employing friends and making money decisions, but not footballing decisions for the club. We're not good enough. It's as simple as that. We lacked quality to break down Atletico. We lacked idea. We lacked thought process. We were playing too slow. We had no tempo, no rhythm. The team spirit we had against Spurs was gone after a few minutes. After Atletico scored, the team again looked deflated. We tried early on in the second half, but it just didn't happen. Atletico played the game to their strengths perfectly. We fell into their trap and we simply were starting to get frustrated. We started moaning throwing hands in the air. That just shows the mental strength of some of these players. And you know what? Some of those players shouldn't have been even starting, let alone coming on from the bench. You can say Ragni got it wrong with the changes that he made to the starting eleven. You can say that Ragnik is not as experienced as Simeone in terms of knockout competition in the Champions League. But the point is, we all knew how Atletico Madrid were going to set up. We all knew how they were going to play. And we should have capitalized. We should have just continued flooding crosses into the box and putting them under pressure. We didn't. We started losing our way. We faded away in the game as the game went on, and that didn't help. Even though Ragnik made changes in the second half, a few players tried. Matic tried real hard. <coughs> Sorry, when he came on, Rashford did absolutely nothing, refusing to cross the ball when he had opportunities to do so, holding on to the ball too long, losing possession of the ball never seen him this bad. Something is definitely wrong. And if I have to be one of the first to say it, maybe it could be better if he just leaves at the end of the season. Because these egotistical footballers that we have at the club don't belong here. Not at all. But before I go into the more deeper side of the game itself, I just want to continue speaking about our inconsistencies. I mean, Fred looked amazing in the first half. Second half, he was nowhere to be seen. McTominay was a big, big call by Ragnick to start. <coughs> Sorry. But, again, taken off in the second half. Why start him then? He didn't do anything in the first half that was helping us. Yes, he intercepted a few balls. 
tackled a few people, but that's basic central midfield stuff. It's not nothing special, nothing amazing to to, to rave on about. We had chances. We did. Ilanga immediately after the second half started putting it wide. Sancho volleying over the post. Ilanga having his shot saved by Oblak. We had chances. We just didn't convert the quick, fast tempo, aggressive start that we had into a goal. If we scored one goal, we would have won the game. Atletico really threatened us. The offside goal was definitely ruled out for offside, which was a correct decision. Then they score after that. Other than that, I don't. they didn't have much. The one shot by the pile that the gear saves. That's it. Atletico was just very, very clinical and played mind games perfectly. In the second half, we saw that they were just kicking us all the time, falling on the ground and laying and wasting time. Players who go down with supposed head injuries ended up not having any injuries at all. The referee failing to give yellow cards, failing to blow fouls, let alone the foul on Anthony Langer, Byron and Lodi. Seconds later, they score from that. VAR refuses to call it back. The referee refused to give the foul on Ilanga. Bias refereeing, poor refereeing. He gave everything for Atletico. Every time they went down to ground because of either an injury, etc., which was by the means fake, pretending. He stopped the game and he went to go check on them. I remember a very, very significant moment when the low went down for a head injury. Atletico had the ball near our box and he just played on. But when we were on the attack, he blowed the whistle to stop the game for Lorente, who didn't even have a head injury. I don't know if you want to be more be more um, honest than that in your biased refereeing, but it was there for everyone to see. David De Gea spoke about it as well and said that we can't speak about the referee, but it was poor. It was, it's done now. There's nothing we can do about it. Ragnik spoke about the referee that was poor. Bruno complained about to the referee. Ronaldo complained to the referee. Maguire complained to the referee. It was clear as daylight that the referee had his own agenda. There was nothing, absolutely nothing given to us. We even had an appeal for a handball, which he just waved away. I'm convinced if Atletico had to have the same thing happen, they probably would have gotten a penalty. Overall, the, everyone played crap. Sancho, who was our performer, you know, and a man in form in the past few games, disappeared, kept on losing the ball, running into players, not crossing the ball, not passing. Pogba came on and done absolutely nothing. Nothing. But to be honest, the Pogba's and the Rashford's, etc., they couldn't care less about this game. Pogba's leaving in the summer, definitely. Ronaldo's going if we don't qualify for the Champions League. Rashford might as well go. McTominay and Fred is not good enough. Maguire, I don't even want to speak about him. He clearly, again, last night, poor performance. Till is decent. The gear saved us from embarrassment yet again. Everyone was just crap. Another crap night for us. It's supposed to be a very mesmerizing and magical evening for us, but Ragnik tried his best to pep up the team and to fire them up. Yeah, a lot of disinterested players in the second half. A lot of complaining, a lot of moaning. Bruno rightly taken off because he was completely frustrated and the Atletico players got to him yet again. The referee got to him and he just wasn't thinking straight. Rightly taken off. Maguire shouldn't have started, in my opinion. The goal that was considered is our own fault though. Ilanga refuses and didn't choose to run back and 
cover the low and actually drop back and defend Lodi. He left Diogo the low to mark three players. Maguire was out of the defensive line, not sure what he was doing. But by the time he got back, the ball was already at the back post in the net. The only positive was the gear and Varan. Ronaldo didn't receive any service. The rest of the team was a scrap. Only positives is Varan, the gear, and perhaps Matic who was trying when he came on. Like I said, guys, I'm cut it. Not really a performance to to speak about, but everybody knows we're not good enough. I of course had the optimism that we were gonna win, and I believe that we could win the Champions League. But it's best that we we got knocked out. Now we full, focus fully on the Premier League for top four. Nine games left and we have to win them all. I don't care. We have to win them all. And even if we do win them all, we still might not qualify for the Champions League. So we might be in the Europa League. But thank you guys for joining me. It is a woeful Wednesday. Not the best way to wake up. But we still say glory, glory Manchester United. We still believe in that. But big changes are needed in the summer. The board needs to come to the party now. The Glazers need to stop taking money from the club and putting it into the football side. Getting Eric Ten Hag. Get rid of these players that are not supposed to be here with their egotistical attitudes that think they are bigger than the club. And get players in that are actually really, really, really willing to die for this club, to run with blood, sweat and tears for this club. Continue to follow us on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter for more Manchester United and Straight With End content. We are always looking to, you know, have our followers grow so that we can reach more Manchester United fans right across the world. Continue to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can continue to be part of this wonderful community that we are building here and share it to all your Manchester United supporters and friends. Our goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That is it for today's video and also for the Stratford End. I am your host, Sashin Johnson, feeling really cluttered and down. Thank you for joining me. Till we speak again soon. Goodbye.